Wetlands are some of the planet's most uh, productive ecosystems, supporting immense biodiversity. On this uh, World Wetlands Day 2020, there are calls for increased awareness on the importance of uh, wetlands. And uh, for more on this, we're now joined from our Pretoria studios by Desigan Naidu, who's the CEO of Water Research Commission. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. Uh, welcome to the program. Uh, just how important is today? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon to all the viewers as well. Today is incredibly important uh, because the world over we are starting to forget some of the cornerstones, some of the pillars of the integrity not only of the environment but also of the economy now. Because you will remember that the World Economic Forum has put out a quartet of environmental factors as the biggest risk factors in the world today. Top of the list is climate change, and very close to that is biodiversity, and not far off from that is the scarcity of water. So wetlands represent one of those building blocks that we can actually do something about to create a positive future for ourselves. All right, so explain to us the contribution that these wetlands make to our ecosystem and these challenges that we're seeing, such as climate change. Well, wetlands are immensely useful. Uh, most people will know that wetlands have an aesthetic beauty. It's, it's nice to be around a wetland and that already has a positive effect. But over and above that, wetlands are the cornerstone system of inland waters that takes care of our, our pollution. They, if you like, are the kidneys of the water system. They absorb all of the pollutants. But over and above that, they do remarkable things like hold carbon. About 40% of the carbon that are, that's land-based currently are in peat bogs around the world. So maintaining the ecosystem is organizing for us to have at least a, a decent opportunity of a low carbon future. But they're also really important around water quantity. So one of the big problems we have in South Africa, as we know right now, is the siltation of dams. One of the surefire mechanisms to organize for having less silt getting into the dams are in fact our wetland systems. So they're incredibly important. All right, so why are they disappearing? Is it man or is it nature? It's a combination of both uh, because as we experience drier and drier climate conditions around the world, our wetlands are a threat. But by far, the biggest threats are human beings and its development in particular. Because we are failing to organize to maintain the integrity of our systems in favor of building very lavish sometimes uh, property estates all around this country, all around the world. And as they encroach into the ecosystem, those wetlands start getting destroyed. And they take a long time to get back to the integrity that we require. So one of the things that we should be thinking about going into the future is not only maintaining the integrity of the wetland systems that we have, but wetlands are incredibly efficient at this pollution control. We should actually be organizing to create new wetlands, artificial wetlands, as we have done in this country and elsewhere in the world, to great effect. So, I mean, the authorities have access to people like you. Why is it then that we are making the mistakes of building in the wrong places and building in the wrong way when you're there to advise them? Well, I think when those decisions are made, actually, the, I think the economics and sometimes maybe even the politics override the science decisions associated with this. But we do know that the higher value real estate in the world are the ones that are surrounded by water. So, for example, Century City in Cape Town is a great example of how you can actually have a high-value development inside a wetland and, in fact, improve the quality of the natural wetland so that you have a win-win situation. It requires a high level of investment, but I think you'll agree with me that the return is remarkably good. So I understand that 40% of all species uh, live or breed in the wetlands. So that if they start to disappear, what we're really talking about extinction of vast amounts of uh, um, uh, um, species life. 
You're exactly right. A and that's the theme uh, that is being launched today in World Wetlands Day. It's around getting back to diversity, biodiversity, increasing our biodiversity, or at least stemming the loss. This is the second biggest risk in the World Economic Forum's risk register this year. And it's an incredibly important aspect. The UN has also declared this decade, 2021 to 2030, as the decade for ecological restoration in the world. Because we are rapidly realizing that going back to the land, going back to nature, is the only way we can have a sustainable future for all of us. So one of the bigger investments we're making in science in this country, in this domain right now, is investing in restoring ecological infrastructure and making the economic argument for the investment in ecological structure, infrastructure rather. This is not only for our water systems, but it's also, as you said, for our bi biodiversity and in turn has a knock-on effect on things like tourism and eventually the economy. All right, talking about the economy, I believe uh, many, many people earn a living uh, from these wetlands. So livelihoods are at stake as well. Absolutely. A and it's not only about the issue of maintaining the livelihoods that people have had for many generations to this point, living off the fruits of the wetlands, but it's also about thinking about the future and looking at domains like, like tourism, as I mentioned before, which is the highest growth potential sector in this country and we badly need high growth potential sectors to invest in but also in the domain of phytomedicines for example phytomedicines are becoming hugely important internationally Phyto uh, um, uh, pharmaceuticals and pseudoceuticals are becoming global markets talking about billions and billions of dollars and we have the opportunity through our wetland systems and we have five million square meters of wetlands in this country to make a very decent start at creating a whole new industrial sector for ourselves. All right. So how are we doing in South Africa? How, how much of our wetlands are we losing? And is there a plan to arrest this and preserve? Yes, there is. I mean, we've done a series of studies uh, as, as the Water Research Commission pointing out the very vulnerable areas that we have with regards to wetlands. And there has been a response from government, both from uh, the Ministry of Water and Sanitation as well as the Ministry of Environment around special measures to organize to preserve these wetlands and in general to organize that part of this country that constitutes the water towers of this country. The big thing that we have to do in the short term, though, is rapidly increase the level of awareness of the wetlands. You and I have an integral part to play. We can, as many people have been doing all over the world today, go onto their wetlands and start to clean it out. One of the biggest problems that we have in wetlands today is the pollution of those wetlands. The second is what I have referred to before, the development decisions that we make. The third is that to organize for us to actually increase the area of wetlands that we have in the country, introducing something we call water sensitive design as the primary method of development going into the future, building wetlands around us so that we have these kidneys available to us all of the time. And the fourth part, of course, is developing smart strategies to sustainably use what these wetlands give us on a daily basis in a way that organizes not only for sustainable li uh, livelihoods for people, but also one that organizes to increase the integrity of our natural environment. All right, Desig and Naidi, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks very much indeed. I feel like we should be having these conversations all the time. Let's uh, try and get that awareness out there. But thanks for your insights on this uh, World Wetlands Day. Thank you.